Ethan Forrester, Lord of House Forrester. I couldn't find him. Could you? He's behind the tree. Nope, not that tree. He hides too well. And if he was smart, he oh, would that tree. himself. <laughs> I don't like this game anymore. Stop being good at games. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I win. Congratulations. Technically, yeah, you win. <laughs> don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. That I'm really good at. I don't like it. <laughs> He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. Oh, wow. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe. King's Landing's not really the best place to be either. I don't want Garrett to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. Stabbed a fool. <laughs> no one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. Oh, burn. And he calls you a milksop. Oh, <laughs> even more burn. <laughs> Sir Royland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me. Or lord that doesn't fight very well, apparently. What does milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. No, I, I don't think it is Ethan, good. You should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. Like a manly man. Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. That's true. Huh. Hey ya! <laughs> Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. Rip. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah! Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. It was so much fun when he wasn't born yet. And everything changed. <laughs> Roderick became so serious. Rip. The Lord in training. And he never smiled anymore. And Asher... Asher just got angry. Oh, Asher's angry. Asher Let's needs to you. calm down, in my opinion. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. Yeah, don't be a come a jerk. Hiding behind trees all the time. Many responsibilities. But you don't need to be like them. It's for you to decide for yourself. I don't want to get angry, but I may have to. Father did sometimes. Well, she's gonna remember that. Everybody <laughs> says that about you. And you don't want to see me when I get angry. You can do anything you want. I suppose. Absolutely anything. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I can have all the sweets I want. No, everything I say, not you. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. <laughs> Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. As many as you'd like, yes. <laughs> she didn't like that lord. answer. Why not? <laughs> They're just sweets, who cares? He's gonna get all the sweets. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced. Uh -oh. Certainly unexpected. And not happy, He's I imagine. Demanding justice. Justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is hey. Astalin. Lady. Stay with us. Lordship here. No way. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. I'm not going to just hang out while there's the business to be had. I command Ethan to stay with his family. Fine. If that's what's required of me. It is required. Very well then. Royland. You children, you just play hiding behind trees yourselves. Got manly man work to do.
They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to I think a lather is a bad thing. Business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. That guy knows what he's talking about. Satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. <laughs> I demand satisfaction. <laughs> Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. What should I say to him? Tell him and his men to leave. Oh. Now is not the time to anger. We, gotta, we can be diplomatic and, and tell him to go. He's got five times as many men and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Yeah. And dead men. That's true. Except for one of those, I think. Mr. Fancy Pants and his audience, huh? Hello. Lord Ethan, is it? My it is. For your father and brother. Oh, now, shake his Christ, hand. There was no friend to me or my house. Oh. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. Men kill him. <laughs> I've been waiting for this day all my life. The foresters finally get their due. Are you kidding me? My father died a hero, fighting for the North against traitors and oathbreakers. Aye. And look where that got him. Oh, you're and gonna no pay for that. What kind of Magic will remember that. Should say that on the screen. No fucking bread and salt. You bloody okay, this guy is clearly no a jerk. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. My apologies. Place diplomatic, place. diplomatic. You. Not like. Oh gosh, this guy you makes it so hard though. Shit on us for generations. <laughs> Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. I right, calm down, you power hungry. Of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. So you get to come in here and do whatever you want? I don't think so. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not. That doesn't make you any more powerful. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood. Things would have been different. Oh, there it goes. It comes down to that. Your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What so you want our you share too, because you're dumb. Oh. Should have finished him off. <laughs> your man, the squire. We were minding our own Mind business. your own business killing his family. His peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Those pigs will have their revenge. No reason. No reason. You murdered his family. Then you minded your own business. Your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? What squire? I don't see a squire. In your name. And you are the lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Hey. Soldiers worth Everyone likes time. bacon, that's what I hear. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? Yeah, I don't know, he must have no took off. Here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? It's not your punishment to be handled out, my man. That was my justice. No, no. Boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Oh, he demands now satisfaction. Bring the coward who did it or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You better Come in and slap down the hammer. Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect. Oh, I lady, think you did. Considering your losses and all. But this this is not over. I think it's, it's over quite over. Son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehead. Yeah. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. You do that. You, Lord Forester, lied to my face and denied me my justice. 
Then we'll see whose word is He denied me my justice. <laughs> Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. Let the door hit you on the bum on the way out. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave. Like a manly man, true lord. You'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. Mira Forster, Red Keep, King King's Landing. To keep the Boltons at bay, if it's presented to her as it should be. Oh, oh! I get to walk around. <laughs> I mostly just watch this and talk. I don't really have my hand on the keyboard. Look at all these things I can look at. So fancy. It's an ironwood box. Oh, shiny coin. Two shiny coins. You have a lot of fancy things, Very lady. Kind of lady Marjorie to give this to me. The once belonged to Lady Elena. Oh, there's a letter. I want to look at the other coin too. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Asher's the one that gets angry all the time, right? Read the letter in the most fancy of voices you can think oh. of. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming week. Much excitement. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. Hmm, quite. All of you, and I look forward <laughs> to the day you can. I was kind of hoping I'd get to read the letter. <laughs> Ooh, another shiny thingy. Oh, just a piece of wood. That's not shiny at all! <laughs> Alright, let's look at some more stuff. Ah, this place is very nice. Very nice. What's this? Oh, I was running to a desk. Hold on. Oh, well that's it. You're not even going to explain. <laughs> what is it? A coal brazier? Well, I'm not from like the 1500s. So I don't know what that means. Is it like a heater? A space heater? There's stuff coming out of it. I'm from the future. What's this? A dusty old tome. Wonders made by man. By Lomas Longstrider. Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Rip. <laughs> I hope to see them all someday. Well, not Roderick. He got horsed. <laughs> Ooh, window. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. No, it's usually dark and snowy. What else we got? Are we done looking at things? All right. Well, I guess we gotta. Would they send me a bird? Are they sending me a bird? No bird. Oh, here we go. Letter from Mother. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Hello, who is it? Who's knocking at my door? There's no peephole to look. One moment. Hello. Oh, sorry. Dirty man. little boy. I didn't mean to disturb you. <laughs> I can come back later if you'd like. Oh no, we're nice. No, it's fine. Come in. Splash the kid with some water. Is that the poop bucket? Or the coal, so okay. <laughs> they didn't have plumbing, I don't think. Begging your pardon, my lady, but you all right? If you yeah, some dirty right, child just walked in. You seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, 
Not for a moment, is it? He noticed your honesty. It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. And she's a meanie, I think. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. <laughs> I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? Cersei? I'm shocked by this. They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. Whoa, this could be spy I talk right much, here. What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but I know they were talking about the Starks and oh? House Forrester. House Forrester? You have my attention, dirty little boy. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Thank you. Off with you Most now. people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Shoo shoo, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, just come on in. You didn't even knock. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was Hello. Time for us to talk. Come, lady. We must discuss. <laughs> From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. Oh, she's you nice. Must understand there are limits to what I can say. Especially here in King's Landing. I didn't ask anything, pain. but now that you brought it up. To have a handmaiden from the north whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning uh -oh. inside the royal sept. Very mean men. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. Oh. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She demands. wants an apology of some sort. Oh. What I don't know, but she's waiting for us now and I promised I would bring you to her. A I'll tell her something. We're not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Oh, come on. I gotta kiss her butt. Tell her what she wants. Come on. Well. See if the queen reads Those guys are scary looking. Hello. <laughs> You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Ah. You get down on knee and kiss her butt. Good luck. Thank you. 